Hello all and welcome to this AWS tutorial. In our tutorial today, I will provide a brief overview followed by a demo on Party Rock. These are some reference URLs that I've mentioned over here. I will also have them mentioned in the description of this video. I would certainly encourage you to visit these URLs as they can provide additional information about this particular topic. So what is Party Rock? Party Rock is an English language based text prompt generative AI app builder that lets you create a variety of apps to experiment with generative AI or Gen AI. In very simple words, it's similar to ChatGPT. Remember in ChatGPT, you give your question and it comes back with a response. Over here, again, it uses prompt engineering. So you can give a couple of sentences that, hey, I need to do this. And behind the scenes, it will create or generate an app for you. Now, Party Rock is an educational tool and is built purely for entertainment purposes. It is powered by Amazon Bedrock, a fully managed service that makes foundational models from Amazon and other leading AI companies available through APIs. Knowledge of coding whatsoever is not needed to start creating your own apps using Party Rock. So pretty much anybody can work with this particular tool as long as you can articulate your request in a few sentences really very well, it will create an app for you. You can learn about the fundamental techniques and capabilities needed to get started with Gen AI, including understanding how a foundational model responds to a given prompt, experimenting with different text-based prompts, and chaining of prompts together. Access to Party Rock is through its own web-based UI. That means it is not part of your AWS management console. Anyone can work and experiment with Party Rock by creating a profile using a social login from Amazon.com, Apple, or Google. It does not require an AWS account. So it does not require an AWS account. It does not require a credit card. Anybody can pretty much create a login and start working. While I am recording this video, at this time, Party Rock is providing free credits for anybody to go inside and experiment with Party Rock. So while it is free, I would certainly encourage that you go ahead and experiment and play with this particular tool. So now let us see how to create an app with Party Rock. So let me go to the Party Rock website. So if you can see, this is partyrock.aws. This is the website. And over here, you can see that there are three ways to create an app. First is to start with a prompt. As I was mentioning earlier, as long as you can, you know, create a prompt with one or three, two, three sentences, articulate them really very well, that this is what I need. Write about it and give it uh, to Party Rock. It will behind the scenes. Use prompt engineering to engineer and build your app. So that is the first and the easiest way to create your application. The other way is to remix an app. So as the name suggests, you're remixing. That means there's something that is already existing. So if you like an app that is already existing, that is published by somebody else, you like that app, but you would want to make subtle changes to that, you can select the app. There's a remix button on the top. And then you can click on Remix, and then eventually uh, that app will be copied over, and you have feel free to make changes whatsoever that you need to make. And this will create a new app in your own account. And finally, is starting with an empty app or starting from scratch. So over here, no prompt engineering, nothing. It will be a blank page. And now you will have to start from scratch. You will have to add your own widgets, uh, you know, how, however 
uh, you want the layout to be, what each widget is going to do. Is it going to be a static text? Is it going to be a user input? Is it going to be something that's going to be AI gen generated? What model it is going to use behind the scenes, etc. So you will have to configure all of your widgets and the party rock app builder will not do whatever the heavy whatever heavy lifting it did for you during your prompt engineering that was your the initial approach that you used so essentially it's totally up to you you can either give it a prompt and have it build it for you you can use an existing app and modify that app or you can simply start from scratch i will be creating hands on labs for each of these approaches shortly so i'm not going to get into the details of this but hopefully this answers your question as to how to go about creating an app. Now, let us look at some of the featured apps. Now, I have chosen three apps over here. Of course, there are many, many apps that people have built over a period of time. But the three apps that I have chosen um, are, first is the Team Builder. Now, this particular app, basically gives you ideas for team building activities depending upon your location, team size, and preferences. Similarly, you have a Good Eats app. This, as the name suggests, basically provides restaurant recommendation for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, again, based on your preferences. And finally, you have a Movie Guide app, which again makes preference uh, recommendations based on your preferences, such as genre, language, and Whichever particular uh, recommendation that you like that it has made, it even allows you to double click on that particular movie and gets you additional details. So let us go ahead and look at these apps. So I'm going to go back to Party Rock. And over here, you can see that there are certain featured apps over here. So first, let us look at Good Eats. So this is a Good Eats app. So I'm going to click on that. And again, you can, you know, give your location, cuisine, meal, and depending upon your preferences, it will give you some recommendations. So let me say that in New York, I want, let's say, Italian cuisine for dinner. It is nighttime over here, 7.25 p.m. So now let's see what recommendations it comes back with for Italian restaurants in New York. It looks like it came with one restaurant. Hopefully, there you go. So there are a few more restaurants that it came up with. Mm, it's a little frozen because it's still working. And these are some of the restaurants that it has recommended over here. Now, of course, you can change the location or change the cuisine and then take it further ahead. But hopefully, this gives you a decent idea as to you know how this particular app works now let me go back and go to movie recommendations now here i'm going to say let's say genre is drama language is english and I'm not sure if i'm a fan of adam sandler but i'm going to remove his name and uh, yep yeah, hopefully it will now generate the recommendations all over again. So I don't have any preferences. I want to say a no over there for my favorite. I don't have any favorite actors or actresses. So let's see what all names it comes up with for movies. Right, so English drama with no favorites. So still generating. Okay, so these are some recommendations that it came up with. Now, let's say if I change the genre to sci-fi. And now let's see what it comes up with. So it's saying Inception, Interstellar, Arrival. Still working. Okay, so these are some sci-fi movies that it has 
recommended for me. So now let's take inception and let's get additional details of this particular movie. So I'm going to say, so this particular widget talks and gives more about additional details for, about the recommended movie. So I'm going to say inception and now let's see if it can give additional details about this particular movie. So saying that it was directed by Christopher Nolan, it stars Leonardo DiCaprio and additional details about this particular movie. Similarly, let's say if we talk about, I'm gonna say Terminator 2, which is one of my favorites. So let's see if it comes back with accurate recommendations and details about this particular movie. So yes, it does star Arnold Schwarzenegger and perfect. Yeah, I think it came up with pretty decent details about this particular movie. So this is, hope you know how this particular app works. Now, of course, these are some Hollywood movies if you want and you want to go for, let's say, Korean movies or something like that. Be my guest. Like, or if you want to go for uh, Bollywood movies, um, you can go for that. Now, good luck to get some sci-fi uh, Bollywood movies, but let's see what recommendations it comes up with. And here are some Bollywood movies that it is enlisting at this time. So go ahead and feel free to, you know, kind of play with this particular tool, this particular app especially. Now let me go back. And so we saw two of the recommended applications. And now let's look at the Steam Builder guide. So now we are going to say that what are our preferences and what kind of activities would we like to do? So I'm going to say um, my preference is walking. My team size is five and my location is London. So now let me see what kind of recommendations it comes up with to do for five people that involves walking in London. So it's saying basically to hike in Richmond Park, walk along the South Bank, walking tour of London's neighborhoods like Soho or Con Covent Garden, which was pretty good. A lot of shopping to be done over there. Okay, and then here's a little bit about Surrey Hills and Hampton Court Palace Gardens. So. Okay, it came up with something. Let's say I'm going to change the location now to Mumbai. And now let us see what uh, team building activities it recommends for five people that involves working in Mumbai. So it's telling me to go to the National Park. It is telling me to take a walking tour of south of Mumbai, scavenger ha hunt in Bandra and beach cleanup at Versova Beach. And let's say if I make a team size of uh, and now 10, and let's say I'm going to say beaches, and I'm going to change the location to, uh, I'm going to change the location to Key West. Key West is a place in Florida. Uh, right here in the US. So let's see what it basically comes up with. So I want beaches, I want, have 10 people in Key West. So saying volleyball tournament, which is pretty good. Taking a kayak eco tour, sunset sailing, making a cocktail class. Okay, nice. And a bike tour along with scavenger hunt. Okay. Um, that sounds pretty good. I would actually, let's say, event planner. So let's see let, if we want to go for a beach volleyball tournament. So I'm going to put that over here to get additional details and recommendations. And let's see what it comes up with. So still working. So 
these are some more details about organizing a beach volleyball tournament location reservation of a court equipment schedule rules foods and drinks okay and it seems that this is always a hit in key west perfect so these are some team building exercises in key west for me so hopefully this gave you a decent idea as to how party rock works and this is it from me today i will have some hands on labs created around this till then take care bye bye